There we go. There we go. Hey, YouTube. Hey, YouTube. I know ain't nobody on here yet, but I'm going to go ahead and get started. And let me take care of some business first. Hello. Hello. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Stephanie of Double J Graphics by Steph. So um, what I'll be doing today is going to be a really short live. This is my normal end of the month live. I usually do it on the last Saturday of the month, which was yesterday. Today is Sunday. And I'm in Alabama, as you can see. Shirt, Alabama. Roll tie, roll tie. Um, hey, Cynthia. I'm in Alabama. We've been having some storms, so I couldn't do it yesterday. And it's about the storm today, but I'm going to do it. So what I'm um, going to do is trades, rolling trades three different ways because 420 is coming up. Now, um, I don't want you to think that these are just for rolling up marijuana, okay? So these can be used, sorry, excuse me. These trades can be used for anything. Beauty, beauty trades, um, trades, Mother's Day is coming up. Decorate it real pretty. Put a bottle of perfume on it. Give it to a mother. Um, different things there. I just put rolling trays because that's usually what people call them. Um, I'm using the trays from Dollar Tree. I'm sweating up a storm. I'm using the um, trays from Dollar Tree. So the serving trays from Dollar Tree is what I'm using. I got a whole case of them. They come a case... 54, I mean, 48 in the case, I believe it is. Hey, Alicia. So, um, this is going to be really, really quick. So, what I've done, let me grab a paper towel because I'm sweating. So, what I've already done, since the weather is bad and it's storming here, on and off, we're walking through my house, y'all. So, what I've already done is, let me show you, and then I'll explain to you how we're going to do this. So, okay, this is my front door. So, I, I did the base paint on my trays already. Um, I did it in my breezeway coming up to my door because it was pouring down raining when I did it. So, I'm going to go and step outside so I can show you. Hopefully, it won't start raining. Let me show y'all the sky. Look at that sky, y'all. We about to get it. So... Hey, Sherelle. So, y'all my cousin out here. So, here are the trays. I've already base sprayed the trays, okay? I base sprayed the trays. I did these white for the simple fact of the design I want to do. You can use any color you want, okay? These are um, the colors of the de designs I'm, have to, I'm doing. Hey, Merlinda. Okay, spray paint. So, if you're one of my followers, or not followers, that's TikTok. If you're one of my subscribers, you know that Rust-Oleum 2X is my favorite spray paint, y'all. But you can use any spray paint. I just found that I don't have real bad problems with the Rust-Oleum 2X. Plus, it's only three um, nine six a, a, a can. So, the first thing I did is spray a base paint on the trays. You don't have to spray a base, base paint if you want the silver background. I like to spray a base paint because I don't like to see the silver. I'm going to set my camera up and we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, I'll tell you which ones we're going to do. First, I got to go get the done, y'all. I washed dishes today. So I <laughs> took the door back in my kitchen. Okay, so the three methods we're going to do are the Dawn dishwashing liquid method. We're going to do the regular Dawn. And we're going to do the power wash method, okay? So I'm going to set my tripod up. And if you have any questions, go ahead and ask me the question or go ahead and get your stuff ready so you can um do it um i'm gonna sit this on my truck i normally bring a table outside but 
in case I have to um, haul ass back in the house. I don't want my table and stuff left out here. So I'm just going to put what I need on the truck. I'm going to get my tripod. We're going to get set up, and we're going to do it right here in the breezeway. Because I love my YouTube family, we're going to do it right in the breezeway of my house, okay? Give me a second. I'm going to set the camera up, so I'm going to put it on the tripod. So you'll be able to see what I'm doing as I'm explaining it to you. If I'm jostling you around, I apologize. I got to take my case off my camera. Let me get this set up straight. I'm going to put it on my tripod. This is not going to take long. Okay, there we go. Okay, let me turn my camera around. There we go. Okay, somebody let me know if you can see. Let me know if you can see. And I'm going to grab some paint, go in the house and grab the paint. Okay, the first one we're going to do is the, um, okay, you can see, good, 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 good. So the first one we're going to do is I'm going to do this purple one right here. So let me explain to you what I did, and then I'm going to explain to you what I'm getting ready to do. So this tray just has a base paint of the light la lilac, that's what the color is, lilac. And I'm going to do the actual regular dishwasher liquid method. So when you do this, I'm going to use the Dawn, uh-oh, regular Dawn dishwasher liquid. Now, if you saw one of my earlier videos, I used some generic dishwashing liquid because I didn't want to um, use my Dawn. It didn't work out too well because it was really thin. However, if you get some that's um, thicker than that cheap stuff from the Dollar Tree, you definitely can use it. So... The way you do this is you make a design, and I'm gonna bring you up close to my tray. Hold on, not that damn close. Hold on. Okay, there we go. So, what I'm gonna be doing with this tray is I'm gonna make my design on this tray. And you just use your darn dishwasher washing liquid. I say you need to have it laying flat because if you hold it in your hand, it tends to run. So you don't want it to run. Let me wipe the water off of here because y'all, let's see a rain. Okay. So you make your design and you can make any design you want, but I know what design I want. I'm into them tiger strap stripes. Move my water out the way. And you need some running water or a bucket of water. I have a bucket of water, but you can, if you want to take it in your house, you can do it in the house. So this is the design I want, and you just make your design. Once I make the design on my base paint, then I'm gonna come around, and I'm gonna put on my gloves, cause I have paint on my hands at all times, so I'd rather try to do it. And remind me, don't step on that, because I'm clumsy. I've been stepped on that and broke my neck. Let me peep back around and see if anybody got any questions. If anybody got any questions, let me know. I'm putting on my gloves. So I'm going to bring my water in front so you can see my water. Got a little um, pollen on the top. Let me move it back. I don't think you can see it. If I put it right there. Okay. So I got a bucket of water. That's my water um, bucket from Home Depot. I put my 
This rice liquid, I'm trying to change my camera so you'll be able to see both of them. Hold on. There we go. So I put my dishwashing liquid on there. Now the only thing, this is easy, the only thing you do is you come back with the other color you want. And I'm going to use this um, purple. And you're going to spray paint it. That's all you're going to do. paint about through. You don't have to spray it that much, but my can is about empty. Once I spray that, I'm going to rinse it. So I sprayed that. I'm going to dip it in this water. I have a bucket of water. Y'all, I use the same water over and over again. Yeah, this rain water right here. Just take it, dip it in the water. This water is icy cold. It could, should be lukewarm, but I'm going to go ahead and do it with this. It's icy cold because it is rainwater. Bang! Y'all see that? Can you see? Hold on. Let me put it back on the ground so you can see it. So that's basically the dishwashing liquid method. You can put another color on there if you want to go back and put another color. However, I want the lilac and the um, purple. So I want to put another color. I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of this dishwashing liquid out there. Sorry about that. Okay. You're not supposed to rub it. I messed it up by rubbing it, but you're not supposed to rub it. Um, the next one. The base paint needs to be dry, but the second paint, when you dip it in the warm water, again, that's ice cold water. When you dip it in the water, all you do is dip it, take it out. But you have to make sure the first coat is dry. The second coat does not have to be dry. So, the second one I'm gonna do, again, y'all, it's raining out here. I don't know if y'all see little drops, but it's raining out here. So the second one I'm gonna do is the power wash method. Don power wash. Uh oh. Let me right there. Don power wash. Same um concept. You're gonna make your pattern on your tray. It's about to pour down. It's raining now. You're gonna make your pattern on your tray with just spots. However you want your patterns. What you cover up is not going to be, it's going to stay white. So I'm going to do this one red, white, and blue. And I'm going to do two coats of paint on it. And once I did that, I'm going to come back and I'm going to put, put another coat of paint on it. Put some more drops, and I'm gonna put my red on here. Oh, that don't go on there. I'm gonna spray my red on here. That look more like a pink. Once I do that, same thing. I'm just gonna dip it in my water. Y'all, it's pouring down rain. I don't want my phone to get wet. Let me put my phone in front of, up under the thing. So, can y'all see that? Red, white, and blue one. Let me turn the camera. Hold on for a second, y'all. It started raining, so let me adjust my camera. Okay, so I had to bring my camera up under the protection of this overhead at my door. So the red, white, and blue, <clears throat> this is where I sprayed two colors. 
You can spray as many colors as you want to, okay? So I wanted this red, white, and blue. Instead of dipping it, you, I could have dipped it and took the um, first layer off, then colored again. But I like spraying it on top. And if I wanted to put another color on this one, I would put it. I would have put it right up on there. Okay. So let me turn around so I can y'all can see me. Hold on. Here we go. Oh, Lord. So, any questions so far? And I see the people from CCBAB. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask me. I'm going to set up and get ready. I'm trying to change my camera. Sorry. Okay. I'm trying to change my camera, y'all. This is raining, and I don't want to mess up my camera. I mean, my phone. I'm talking about camera. Sorry. Sorry for wiping y'all face. <laughs> so, that is the Dawn Dishwasher Liquid Method. You can use the Power Wash, with a, which will give you these little dots. Okay? Or you can use the Dishwasher Liquid, which you can make designs. I did up and down, but you can do circles. You can put a big old amount. Um, just know when you cover it up, what you cover will be the um, color that's under it. And what's not covered with the dishwasher liquid will change the second cup color. Let me um, take some of this water out. So I'm gonna attempt to do I was trying to get the bubbles out. So, um, that's two ways that you can do your tray. The Dawn dishwasher liquid way, the Dawn pressure wash way, and then you can do hydro dipping. Okay? So, I'm going to go in the house and get the other uh, spray paint. This water is kind of cold for the, for the dip method. Hydro dip should be luke. What I always tell people is luke cold. You don't want it too hot and you don't want it too cold. This might be too cold. If it's too cold, it's going to form the skin real fast. And the skin is a layer of paint on the wall. So if it's ice cold like this is, it's going to form a film, um, the skin real quick. If it's too warm, the um, spray paint will stay liquid and it won't grab. So... Let me go and get the other spray paint. Ooh. I have to wash out my porch before these kids come home. Because it's slippery as hell and they don't even know it. I'm going to have to put some um, hot water out here because it's got all that dishwashing liquid. So on the um, hydro dip. On the hydro dip, the designs come out how the designs come out, okay? So like these, I can kind of put where I want. Hydro dip, we hope it come out right. Where I hope it come out right is basically um, a design that's going to make its own self, okay? You can dip two trays in the same water with the same paint, and they'll come out different. Now, you can hydro dip trays. You can do your tumblers. Um, you can hydro dip your kids if you wanted to. Probably not. So I'm going to turn the um, camera down so you all can see what I'm doing. Okay, so what I'm going to do is move these out the way so I won't bust my ass. So what I'm going to do is, I would actually change this water before I did it because it's got a lot of dishwashing liquid, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to see what we can do now. So you'll get the basic principle of it. I'm going to go ahead and shake up this spray paint. Some of this spray paint is at the bottom. Got 
That ain't got nothing in it, but make sure you put your glove on. I done did hydro dipping and forgot to put my glove on. My hand was blue for about two days. So make sure you put your glove on. And what you're going to do is you're going to spray directly in the water, okay? So I'm usually about, what's that? Maybe about six to 12 inches away from the water. <clears throat> and you can spray it in a design if you want to. I usually just spray. Then spray the other colors in it. Then spray. Then spray. Then spray. Then spray. Can y'all see that? And I'm basically just spraying it inside each other. Then I'll come back and I'll see if any of this is in. Yeah, this ain't got nothing in it yet. So once I do that, I'm going to dip it in there. That water, hold on. That water is really cold, so let me try again. But if you see the edges, it got the edges. You want to do it kind of fast, because so that got cold real quick. So let me do it my normal way. And you're going to put the tray right through there. Give me a second. Let me change the water right quick because that dishwashing liquid is not going to allow to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump some of this water off. Hold on. I'm gonna dump some of this water off. Hold on. We're on the third way. So give me a second and I'm going to dump some of this water off. So we can get you right, okay? The rain has messed me up and I'm standing in the doorway of my um house. Give me a second, let me change this water. Do anybody got any questions where I get that um get that water filled up? Any questions? Everybody texting me. So for those of you that came late, I did the um Dawn Power Wash method and the regular Dawn method. All you do is spray paint it and dip it. It's gonna take forever that for that to load up, so let's go out here. It stopped raining. There we go. We almost ready. I got paint on my tripod. There we go, we're getting that ready. Don't have the dishwashing liquid in there.
So again, I'm gonna do the brown and brown. Get me a glove out, cause I don't want brown hands. Well, I got brown hands, but I don't want brown paint on my hands. Damn, there go the rain again, y'all. Let me hurry up and get this real quick. Okay. So spray, spray, spray. And all I'm doing is spraying inside the spray. When you spray, you probably want to put on a mask because this paint is going up my nose. So I'm going to let it sit there for a minute. Swirl it around. You see it swirling around? Let me bring you closer. Got everything. Let's see. Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. Get some more paint. I'll let that one get away from me. Now, any color, you can use any color you want. I'm trying to go for a brown, brown. Now, let's try this again. The um, dishwashing liquid was keeping it from sticking. So you're going to put the tray in there at an angle and grab the paint. And it just is not because the water is too cold. Hold on, y'all. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. I should have brought my other bucket. I have two buckets. Look here. Don't do it in the same bucket, people. Do not do it in the bucket with the darn dishwashing liquid. So, let's do this one more time. Y'all, this has dishwashing liquid in it, and I probably shouldn't have did that, but we're going to get it. Y'all know I'm persistent. I'm about to go grab a pot out the house. No, I'm not. Okay, on the back. <laughs> so, this design that you all see would normally be on the front, but I put it in at an angle and it's at the um it's on the back. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that one again. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do it with a with a um another bucket with my let me get out of y'all face. Okay, I'll explain it to you since that didn't go all right, but you loving my yard. <laughs> come in. I wish somebody would come and cut my yard for free. I have to pay somebody. The Dawn dishwashing liquid method is still Dawn dishwashing liquid in here. So that's why it's not sticking. If you'll see that, all dishwashing liquid, I thought I could name bucket, but evidently that is not working. Um, I'll do it again tomorrow. If it don't rain, we're supposed to have storms all week for some strange reason. I guess April showers coming early because April is not until next week. But let me read and see if we have any questions. And we'll just go ahead. What I'll do is I'll take the other tray and we'll do it anyway. I have another tray 
So the person that came late, so we'll call this two ways. I'll go back and change the um. I will go on back and change the name of this, and this would be Trey's two way, two ways, and then I would do the um. um I do the high. Let me turn off this water, y'all. So. I will do the hydro dip another time, but for those of you who came late, I'm going to go ahead. Since we had 30 minutes and I try not to go over an hour on my um, end of my live, I'll go ahead and do this one again. And I'm going to use just the, um, the um, dishwashing liquid. So let me put it so you can see it. So I have my base paint on there. And I'm gonna do the dishwasher with these two colors. So all you do is you put the dishwasher liquid in the design you want. So I'm gonna let me do this. Yeah, I got my hand. Once I spray that, I'll come back and I'll do another layer and I'm gonna do this dark brown on this. A red, whatever, whatever color it is. Okay, once I do that, my hands are already dirty, but I'm gonna go ahead and put a glove back, try to put a glove on. I just put it on like this. That's backwards. Okay. Once you do that, you do again. You don't have to wait. You just want the base coat um, dry. You don't have to wait for the second coat. You just dip it in there. Don't use ice cold water, because this water like ice cold, y'all. It was rain water, and that's just cold water. And tray. Woo! And you can pick another color. I'm going to let this dry, because if the water was warm, the dishwasher liquid would come right out, but that water is ice cold. Okay, so are there any questions? I'm sorry about that third method, but I'm fixing to go in the house. It's raining at my neighbor house, so it'll probably be at my house in two seconds. Whew. So we're back in the house, and I got to go back outside, but I don't want my camera. Oh, yeah, that's me and my kids. <laughs> it's a painting I got done years ago. Well, not years ago, because my baby I only been out of school for seven years, six years. So that is two ways, and we'll get the third way. Another thing you can do for 420 Dollar Tree, okay? I told the people in the group this. I showed them some of my, um, hold on. This is my semi-new. Um, apron, I don't want to get it as messed up, so I'm going to wipe my hands on my other apron. The another thing you could do for 420, and that's what we were talking about for those of you that came later, for those of you who are going to see it later, we were talking about doing the trades for 420. So, instead of three ways, I showed you two ways to do it because the water is not cooperating on the third way, but if we get one day this week, that is sunny for at least an hour, I will go out there and do it, um, the hydro dip. I'll go and do the hydro dip. It's just too cold out there. The water is ice cold. Um, 
Another thing you can do, these trays are at Dollar Tree. Okay, crafting section. These trays are in the crafting section at Dollar Tree. Mini rolling trays. So what I did is spray paint them. I have a lot of them spray painted. I'll show you my work area. When you're doing the Dawn dish liquid, you want, hold on, let me get the question back up there. Okay. I do the question that I have is when you're doing the Dawn dish liquid, what tumbler? You talking about a tumbler? Is that what you're asking how to do it on the tumbler? So if you ask how to do it on the tumbler, I usually do it. Let me show you how I do my tumblers, and I got some in here. So for my tumblers, when I use the Dawn method, this is, I don't know if you can see that. This is one I did, but what I usually do is I take it, I just put it on the um, arm, on the football on the arm, and I take it outside and do it. Um, I know a, a guy that does it inside. I don't spray paint in my house unless I'm getting ready to go to bed, okay? So I just hold it on the on the um on the arm from my turner and I'll put it on like that. I don't know why the, the um things keep disappearing. So does that answer your question how I do it on the tumbler? The way I do it is I hold my thing in my arm. And I usually have my daughter to help me, but I hold it on in my hand and she just swirl the dishwashing liquid. Then I dip it in the water to get it off. Uh, you can hold it sideways. Like I was telling you all, I put the trays flat because the dishwashing liquid has a tendency to run. You know, it's dishwashing liquid. And usually when I'm outside spray painting, it's hot as fuck out there. Sorry about the cursing, but y'all know I curse. When I'm spray painting, I usually have it outside and it's hot. So you can do the dishwashing liquid method on the tumblers, trays. We did it on glasses. When I first started, I did it on glasses. That's the first thing I did it on is some glasses. Let me see if I have one in here. So when I first did it, I did it on, um, I'll tell you, okay, Cynthia, do I see it? So the first one I did, I did it on glasses, okay? This is a glass from my daughter, um, 23rd birthday. You probably can't see, but her name is on there. Or her fake name. Her name ain't Queen, but that's what she called herself. Um, so do I see my decals? No, I do not see my decals, but let me tell you why I don't see my decal. So I don't see a decals anymore because my good friend Nisi hooked me up with this dang on printable vinyl, y'all. This right here is the best printable vinyl that I've ever used. You print this, and you can pour the epoxy right on it. It don't come up. It's stuck. This is just like 651. Once you print it on there, you just it's just like 651. I, I use this on my dominoes now. Uh, if you all have been uh, following me, you know I usually um, use regular copy paper, which I'll still do if I don't have this, because I didn't like the sticker paper. Sometimes the sticker paper came up. Sometimes the epoxy seeped through, and it was just, it was horrible. But this paper right here, and I'll put a link in there. This paper right here is the best paper. They have eight by tens. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna show you some. It's vinyl. You right, Cynthia? It's vinyl, not sticker paper. Sticker paper. They have 8 by 10, 11 by 17, and 13 by 19. 
So they have all the sizes in that sticker paper. And I have it somewhere in this house. I just don't know where the fuck is at. But that sticker paper comes in all sizes. On Amazon, they only have the 8 by 10 But if you go to the actual website for ink press, they have the um, 13 by 19 and the 11 by 17 which is awesome if you're doing a lot of stickers. We already know that um, design space only limit, well, used to be six and a half by nine, but now you can print on an eight by 10 sheet of paper. But if you're doing a million um, trays like I'm doing, see all these trays I got prepped? I got to finish all these trays. So if you're doing a lot of trays, you don't want to keep using sheet after sheet after sheet. So I just use... Um, I just use the big um, 11, 13 by 19, put them all on there and, and get them cut like this. Hi, Shamira. So that is what I use, that printable vinyl. I use this for my tray tables. I use it for my rolling trays. I use it on my tumblers. I use this for everything. Okay, so this is very good printable vinyl. It the color is awesome. I um use this 7720, but I do have a small printer over here, and it looks just the same on the small printer. I got I can't show y'all that because there's some shit sitting by there that yeah, y'all don't need to see that. But <laughs> I use the, the um regular printer and it is awesome. The colors are awesome, it sticks, you don't have to worry about sealing it. This been on here probably about This probably been on here about 50 million, probably about a week or so. I still won't steal it. I still just, whenever I get to it, I'll pour some epoxy on it to be fine. Jawana, what's your question? Let me look back up. I didn't see you. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Jawana, did you ask the question on here? Hold on. You say, is that your question, Joanna, about the tumbler? What is the best way to do that? When you do it to a tumbler, I put it on the arm. Um, is that your question, Joanna? Yeah, she's she um spoiled. Joanna is spoiled, y'all. Okay, so if we don't have any questions, I'm going to tip on over here to CCBAB, and I'm going to go live in there by the hour um, to see what they got going on. Another thing I want you all to, to get, y'all, everybody should have this. Now, let me show you this. Get you some of this orange clean, y'all. You can get it from um, Home Depot, whatever, in the um, in the industrial section or the mechanics section. This is what mechanics use. Y'all, this will take this paint right off my hand. Take the paint off my hand. If I happen to forget to put on gloves and get some epoxy on my hand, this take the epoxy right off my hand. This was strip paint, y'all. This is something we used in the military in the um, motor pool. You don't really need water with it. You rub it and then you just dry it off. But I always put water because I don't like that gritty feel. But you see that? All that brown paint I had on my hand is gone. Okay? All that brown paint is gone from this orange clean. So Get your, get yourself some orange clean. You don't necessarily have to get this kind, but this Pro Clean and this come from Home Depot. That one came from Home Depot, but they sell it everywhere. They got it on you, um, on Amazon, y'all. This I I don't know why it took me so long to remember about this, but um, get you some of that. That cleans that stuff for strip paint. It's done on your hand, but it'll get everything off. And we are rounding about at one hour, and I'm going to go ahead and close out. I do appreciate you all. Um, hold on one second. I appreciate you all.
Yeah, I know I got the I got to go to this one thing. Hold on. Not that. I appreciate you all, and I, if you all can tell me something that you want me to do next, I'm here, y'all. If y'all can tell me something you, you want to do next, and we'll go ahead and get to it, but, um... You know I got to play play my um theme song. Give me a second. I want y'all to see this. Hear this. Anybody got anything that they, any other questions? I'm going to go ahead and end it. I'm going to have to get a moderator because I can't see the questions. They pop on, and if I'm not actively scrolling, it pops off. I don't get to see it. For those of you who don't know, I am a travel agent also, and we are planning a trip, a cruise next year, 2022, 4th of July cruise from the 4th to the 9th of July from um, Charleston, South Carolina. If you are interested in going on this cruise with us, um, it's people at CCBAB, that's my Facebook group. And friends and families, anybody is um, invited. If you want to go on that cruise, you can hit me up on Facebook or you can drop a comment below this video and I'll get you the deets. I'll get you the details, but I will tell you the deposit is $25 per person that has to be paid by April the 15th, $25 per person. The next um, hard time is March the 15th of 2022. It is, you have to have paid at least $150 per person by March. And by April the 15th of next year, you have to have the whole trip paid off. So what we are doing, we all made our, paid our deposits and we're making monthly payments because we don't want to wait till next year and get to March or get to April and we got to come up with money. Now, the um, the cruises are very reasonable right now. That's a five-day cruise. Um, I have a suite. I have a suite and it's about $1,500 per person. It's a two-person suite. Um, of course, I'm being there by myself and I'm going to pay the whole 3000 but you can get up to five people in the suite. Um, you can get up to five people in some of the rooms. The larger cabins go fast because everybody want to bunch up in cabins and that's the way you go on the cruise because guess what? You ain't never in the cabin, so why you want to pay all that money? But if you want to go, please drop me a comment or you can contact me in my Facebook group um, messenger in my Facebook group or, you know, on my double J page on Facebook. If you already have it, let's get to the busy. If you already have it, please hit that subscribe button below. Give a thumbs up to this video. If you enjoyed it, if you didn't give a thumbs down, now don't give me no damn thumbs down for that weather. Okay. Don't give me no thumbs down for that cold water. I explained it to you. This video was supposed to be yesterday. I had to cancel it because of the storms. I started to cancel it today because of the storms, but I went ahead and did it. So don't be giving me no thumbs down for that, okay? But I hope you all have a good day. We're going to leave out with a little Double J song.
Can y'all hear that? That's my thing, so I'm gonna sing to y'all, then we're gonna get on out from here. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do this all the time when we do live. Hey! Just pick up your pencil. I don't know the words for real. <laughs> but y'all have a good day. This this scene of y'all. Thank you. Oh, I was supposed to share that. You agree. Bye, y'all.